study about the control system components. Before starting with the control system components, let us consider a block diagram of a closed loop control system. So this is the block diagram representation of a closed loop control system. In this block diagram, we have three elements. The first is the feedback element. Second, we have the controlled system. And third, we have the controller. Now this controller is the sum of these control logic elements and this error detector. So the three basic elements of the uh, con closed loop control system is the feedback element, control system, and the controller. This feedback element, it is used to feedback the output signal to the error detector so that this error detector can use this feedback signal for comparison. Okay, so what is the use or what is the function of this feedback element to feedback this output to the error detector so that error detector can use it for the comparison process. Now the third, uh, second element, it is controller. This controller, it consists of the error detector and the control logic elements. The error 
detector it receives the input and it compares it with this feedback signals and produces the actuating signal okay so the function of this error detector is to compare the reference input with the feedback signal We can say measured signal or the feedback signal or output signal. Okay. So it receives the measured signal and compare it with and it determines the error signal which is also known as the actuating signal okay now this actuating signal it is actually a very low power signal okay it is at very low power level and it is not sufficient to be applied to these uh, this plant directly so we have control logic elements in between them so that they manipulate this actuating signal and make it suitable to be applied to the system or the plant okay So this actuating signal, it is at very low power level and it is not sufficient to be not sufficient to operate the plant. So there is a need for an intermediate element which can uh, between this error detector and the plant so that it can manipulate this actuating signal and make it suitable to be applied to the plant. Okay. So there is a need for an intermediate device. And this device is to be connected between the error detector and plant. Why we need this intermediate device? This intermediate device, it can manipulate the actuating signal. as we desired it that is whatever we desire in what way we want to manipulate the actuating signal this intermediate device should be capable of doing it so now this manipulation it can be in the form of How can we manipulate a signal? We can either amplify it, we can either generate a desired function or we can uh, remove the noises from it, we can remove the undesirable signals from it. So this manipulation can be in the form of amplification of the signal. And this amplification will generate a desired signal. So what is the use of this intermediate device? This intermediate device, it is manipulating the actuating signal and it is producing a desired signal. Okay, so that we can apply this signal to the plant or the system. Now these intermediate device, they are known as the control system components. There are some components which can manipulate the actuating signals. 
okay so this manipulation is done by them now each control system component it is introduced in the system to perform some specific function okay so control system components they are employed or we can say introduced in a system So it is the definition of the control system components that these are the components which are employed or introduced in the system to perform a specific function or purpose in the system. Now these control system components they can be electrical, they can be mechanical, pneumatic, hydraulic or any type of components. So we can have any of these mechanical, electrical or any type of uh, element and they can be of any type, okay, these control system components. Now in the modern control systems, they, we use sensors as the control system components. So the modern control systems, they use sensors. and encoders as the control system component. Okay, so we can use sensors and encoders as the control system components. Now in this topic, we are going to study the following devices which are used as the control system component what are these devices which we are going to study and these devices are sensors okay and these sensors are which we are using the first is potentiometer second is AC servo motors DC servo motors, stepper motors, and taco generators. So these are the devices or these sensors which are used in control system to manipulate the actuating signal. Okay, now we will in our further videos we will study these five control system components i hope you have clearly understood that what is the control system component and what are their use i hope it is understood to you thank you